Greetings everybody, I am Abu Goblin King and in today's episode of Have a Gojo we are playing Moonlighter. It literally dropped like what 12 hours ago maybe something like that maybe a bit longer than that and uh, yeah there seemed to be a bit of teething issues to load it up it kept saying loading 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 but thankfully it started should be able to go in yep here we go instantly have to screen shake okay uh, that's fine uh, oh yeah I see it R1 yeah. music yeah that's cool put that down for R1 put that down for R1. I can actually turn the music off no that's fine so yeah this is a action RPG slash shop sim roguelike is there any other <laughs> genre it is action RPG roguelike shop light simulator but we'll just play it okay really hard is recommended uh, yeah gone since as as it's uh, recommended I love the art style. The art style is a myth. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them dungeons, strange, ever changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village was slightly curious, took, near the, took root near the dungeons. This means our Ryoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the old shop, Will of Moonlighter, which is us, long dreaming of the opening of the mysterious swift door of the dungeons. Oh, that little <laughs> This is what I got before before I even got into the game. I hadn't seen the cutscene before. I didn't even get to the uh, the the continuing new game. Oh here we go. So yeah, it kind of looked at the way it's set up like the dungeons kind of remind me of um, Binding of Isaac oh so movement is there a dash? oh yeah there is a roll so it's L2 it? oh it's L1 okay I probably don't have any of those so I've got 200 gold or coins whatever they were called in this uh, 100 life so L2 does that and is that a brush or broom or something? No idea. Uh, do I oh, okay. I thought he was trying to say jump over, roll over them. Oh, you can go over. Aha! Okay, cool. Uh, what? You can just roll through enemies? Oh. Ah, so you don't take. Damage, okay. Huh? Oh! Huh? Oh, so you charge it. Very cool. So that's squares to charge. It sort of says they're charging and then they strike forward. X is basic attack, and R2 is. Oh, to use a potion if you need to. Okay, cool. Let's try and get as many as we can get. Kind of reminds me of um, Bastion as well. It has that sort of vibe, I guess. Right, correct word. Oh, what's that? 
So I don't know if um no. What is that? White stone. Up oh, quick removal. There we go. Oh triangle I guess brings up you. Okay, I, I, for some reason it won't let me look in the bag. Alright, fine. Fabric. I ho I'm hoping there's like a crafting thing. I didn't even know this game existed until I saw it pop up on the store. I know. I know, I'm a terrible person. Ow, 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 ow. What am I supposed to do? What the hell? Am I supposed to die? Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have a... I have a feeling I'm supposed to die. I think this is to... bring you slowly into the theme of that there's gonna... for the roguelike aspects. Oh, some old man's coming. Hmm. You there, young fool. <laughs> Zenon. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will, I have you now. I'm scared. I have you now, Will. You're mine. <laughs> no, Greg, no. <laughs> Wait, what was his name? Zenon or something? Oh, he's going to try and sell me some shit, aren't you? Oh, there I am. I thought I was in his backpack or something. <laughs> Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Is that research, I guess? <laughs> Big old question mark next to the lock. Hmm. Yeah, you need a key. There is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant buy it off more than he could manage? No, I just didn't have a sword. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for the greatest sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's a Zelda reference. <laughs> when Link uh, gets his sword from the first game. Uh, it's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Yeah, because you're an old man. Unless you're like Master Roshi. Anyway. <laughs> now then. Get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of that tricks that I picked up from your grandfather. So many, many years ago. Is he going to teach me how to use the sword? No, I can't actually use any of them. Can I buy something? Oh, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Do I have to go by the hand of the till? Oh yeah, I do. Greetings, citizen! Citizens of oh wait it's not Earth. Citizens of Earth. Yes, sell it to you. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose a profit. Be careful to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandpa always knew if his prices were fair. Oh, this guy is going to come in. He's going to be well unhappy, yeah. But, oh, I don't want to pay for this, it's too much. Dot dot dot. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was ob ob 
obviously, obviously overpriced. What the hell happened to my speech? <laughs> Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when selling is in high demand and low in supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. Kind of reminds me of a uh, shop A, keep A. <laughs> Oh, that's many moons ago. They did all the bugs and errors and stuff, and then they gave up with that game. Anyway, <laughs> you have gathered. Uh, you have gathered on discovered words. What? You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Oh. All right. So I can actually look now. Oh, R2. What do you want me to do? Just press triangle again. It would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You'll pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory. That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Yes, sir. Captain, sir. Go on now. There's weary bones and mine must rest. Weary bones, not weary. Can I charge it? No, just hold it. Where is the dungeon? Oh, here. Let's have a look at the the city or oh, village. Because I'm intrigued to see how what the the art style is like for the rest of the village. That's a derelict building. Hello, Mori. Have you found any new cultural artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Oh, so maybe they sort of um, interlink on dimensions? So maybe they... So like maybe say they link to our world, they link to someone else's world, or different lands or something like that. That's my understanding. Anyway, but yeah, I, I really do like it. It's quite cool. Combat's quite fluid. Movement is really good, actually. So yeah, let, let's go in the read. What does it say? Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Oh, I, I didn't look up how to do the pendant. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to die miraculously. Ooh. Can I hold? Ah, oh, it doesn't charge. Alright, cool. What are they supposed to be? Can I not? I can't look at it. Well, okay. Oh, is that the pendant in the circle there? Okay, cool. Oh, I have to charge it, I have to charge it. Alright, cool. Oh, damn. What the hell are you, mate? Ow. Actually, wow, he does a lot of damage. Oh. It's just like Dark Souls. No, <laughs> I'm hoping there's a skill tree or something in this. Make, make what? Because I can't believe that it's just a hundred HP. And that's all. there must be other weapons as well. Oh, they remind me of the little blobby things in Zelda. When they uh, when you break them, or kill, slash them, whatever, and they divide into little ones. To a person of 
hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from a creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though. I would say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. Guardian's... Oh wait. So there is bosses. Freeze the... Oh my god. He dropped a couple of irons when he fled. One of which is this map. Diagram? Whatever it is. I was right. They called me crazy, but old crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guide of a dungeon must possess the key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologise for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open up the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. Let's come right over here. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. And I have to chase these weird creature that stole my stuffs. Big boss gonna be upset with little me. So yeah, I need the keys to unlock alright, oh, yeah. No, no. Oh he oh we dropped a load of stuff. Oh, oh, there's something there. Oh, roll, 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 roll. So does it mean I can use it now? Because that door is locked as well. Uh, escaped with pendant. Oh, so there's one, two, three, three floors and then the boss. And I killed two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven creatures. Oh, it says 11 there, idiot. And I didn't open any chests, okay. I don't know, yeah, it's really good actually. Really tempted to make this in a series, even if people don't. If no one actually asks for it. It's really cool. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact, finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Oh my god, not fucking boy again. Fucking hell, fucking. I've just got. I've just finished God of War. Why are you going to go. Well, I Like a week or two ago, but still. Boy! <laughs> boy! Boy! <laughs> what are you holding? Is that the chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You. You found old Pete? Dead? See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to balance it then, aren't I? Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in and attempt to revitalize this town. So you have to build up the town as well, so you have to attract other shops. So if I sell artifacts, does it mean there's going to be weapon shops and armor shops then? Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this game even more and more. I apparently need more some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Noka. Nice indeed. So I'll make money. I'll put the money up front for them. And then they will come. I guess that could work because business wise if I'm just selling artifacts I'm not selling weapons just artifacts whatever the artifacts are which attracts war uh, adventurers but they're going to need weapons and stuff to fight in the dungeon and if they get into a dungeon that's heavy handed they're going to need more equipment and stuff but they also come to me as well to get artifacts so me bringing the weapons as people say or attract more sort of like adventurers so I can see how that could work like economically yeah investments town wouldn't have Vulcan's Forge do you feel the dungeons are too hard tired of your, yeah as I was just saying <laughs> can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials of forge to be reckoned with oh a forge to be reckoned with instead of, okay oh wait, wait wait I just went to see what that lady wanted 
Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeon? Visit the wooden hat to find potions. Oh, enchantments. I see she's kind of like a witch then. Oh yeah, he's got like a witch's hat symbol. Okay, okay. Oh, does that sword and plus po? Oh, because the enchantments would be that. Okay. Uh, so shop. Is this my shop? Oh, yes. You can improve the shop. Oh damn! Oh, and, oh, I could have just done this. Okay. So at the moment, I don't actually have anything. Can I just whack? Can I change this one? Can I change the price then? Oh, okay. How do you how do you change the price of stuff then? Oh, okay. Don't know. Golem Court. Do I not? Fine. What am I supposed to sell though? That's the thing. See, I, I don't know if... um. Ah, here we go. So if we... 200. Yeah. Water sphere. A whetstone. If we put that there. How many can I have? Can I not put multiple? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's sell it for 50. For two. Uh, let's open the store and let's see what happens. They've all got massive backpacks. I, I <laughs> oh, that's clearly too much. Oh, that's clearly too much. Oh, no. Oh, you want that? Ah, sell it. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's too much. Maybe... Can I place while I'm doing? Let's try... Just the one. Uh, let's put that 90 if I can. Oh, yeah. Just to see. Oh, even that's... Wow, they think that's too much. Um, so how much do you want for it then? 20? I think it was 50 for him, so... Okay, the people are leaving now. Oh, is she gonna go and check the 21? It might be okay. What? Even, so even this... 20 is too much. Alright, put it for 10. Let's see. Oh, yeah, she seems to be happy with that 10. Oh, my days. So happy. She's like, 10? Oh, my God. Bye. <laughs> really? Oh, these massive cheapskates. Let's put the vine there. Oh, how do I... Oh, you can... Oh, 10 is a stack. All right. Set it for 100. Oh, that's 100 a piece. Whoops. I need money. <laughs> uh, let's try to sell a golem 
golem core. When is it? Yeah, golem. No. Golem. <laughs> 400, let's see what happens. They're just going to smash some shit up, innit? <laughs> They're going to freak out. Just out, what the hell? Hey, 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 she's happy with that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, what was it? 20 on that. Change that to 20 as well. Aren't you the same chick that came in to buy some of the stuff earlier? Maybe it's because it's 10 items. Really? Do it like that. Okay, cool. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> oh, he's proper happy. It's like, yeah, I want my bit of wood. <laughs> oh, what was it anyway? I can't remember what it was. Whetstone. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the day of, uh... Oh! People can steal as well. They're sleeving in this. Oh, my days. <laughs> Not again. Fucking hell. Alright, fine. <laughs> Let's close it. Okay, I think I'm going to there. Oh, my days. This game is amazing. I really, really, really like it. I'm so glad I... Just, when I saw it, I watched the video. And then I uh, saw, like, a video of, like, top ten... No. No, it was it was the video from the store I was watching. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've gone mad. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, it was... Cause, cause I remember watching the video, but it was for next month's top 10 games coming out. Not this month's. Which is the... 20, yeah, we're still in this month. Alright, cool. <laughs> but yeah. I watched the video just like, oh, okay, that was really cool. And I read the description and it's like, okay, I'm going to have to buy it. So I bought it, and now I love it. <laughs> yeah, I I'm, probably will do a series of this. I'll, I'll probably play a bit of it, then just start a, a complete new game again, and then go for it like that, so I can I get kind of the idea before I fail. So yeah, like and subscribe. Keep up to date with the videos. Till the next episode of Have a Go Joe and hopefully Moonlighter at my next video. Latest!